Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for 49 and Market using the gorgeous new Summer Porch collection. And I'm actually having a play with the new page kit, which is a complete kit and it includes everything you need to create four layouts, including a step-by-step -step instruction guide, which is really helpful. So within this kit, you get four exclusive patterned papers that aren't in the main collection and they're double-sided as well. Um, so you'll see here on one side, it's kind of like the layout is designed for you and you just need to stick the bits on the top. And then on the reverse of this, it's kind of a scaled back version. So it would just be the background paper. Um, I think for this layout, that's just the stamping you can see in the background and then the um, red and white and black strip along the top. So it depends how challenging you want it to be. I thought for this layout, I'd use the printed side so you could see really how easy it is to recreate these layouts. Um, but you get four sheets like that. You then get four 12 by 12 sheets of laser cut elements that you just pop out um, and then you can see what you need for each layout. And then you also get a 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard as well. And what I like to do is look through the instructions. The first picture tells you everything you need for that layout. So I like to then make three piles um, I get everything out and then I make three piles because the next three images sort of are your step-by-step -step instructions and I will make a pile for each stage um, just to keep it even more simple and I know what I'm using and I make sure I don't forget anything. But the instructions are really simple and quite handy to keep near you so you can just keep referring to them uh, and make sure you've got everything you need at every stage. And there's also loads of extras as well. Once you've actually picked out all the bits you need for the four layouts, there's so many extras thrown in as well. So you can always add to these layouts if you want. Um, and on this layout, I actually add a bit more stamping at the end. So I felt that the frames that housed my photos just looked really stark white against the background where it's got some stamping. So I wanted to kind of dirty those frames up a little bit. So I've pulled out the new uh, Sizzix and 49er Market dies that were released recently and just added a couple of those to those frames. Um, nothing perfect. I really wanted it to be sort of a little bit messy and patchy, just like that background. But I just felt like it helped those frames just blend in a little bit. But as you can see, I'm just working my way through each pile, getting everything stuck in place. And I like to use a lot of foam to raise things up, to bring in some dimension. Um, I always use foam behind my photos just to help sort of lift them off the background, just to help them remain the focal point of the layout. Sometimes we put so many things on a page that the photos can get a bit lost, but I find that having the foam behind them just bumps them up a bit um, and just draws your eye to them. So this is that gorgeous sheet of chipboard and I'm just going to pull out those letters now, summer, and get them stuck down. Now, one of them actually stuck to my finger and I ended up pulling the adhesive bit off, um, but it was easily fixed with a little bit of wet glue and that stuck down a treat there. And then the rest, I'm a bit more careful and you can see I'm just peeling them off and sticking them straight in place. So it really couldn't get any easier than this. And these are what I call Katie layouts. Um, the whole collection is designed by Katie Petit and I quite often see on her website these gorgeous um, sort of sketches and layout designs and I always look at them and think oh, I wish I could recreate something like that and I find that with these page kits I can because they're designed by Katie and they're what I call Katie layouts um, so I'm really glad that I get a chance to, to make those and have those in my albums um, and it's a really fun way to make them as well. So as you can see, I'm just working my way through the instructions now. I'm on the second image at the moment. So this is my second pile of things and I'm just getting them all in place, some with wet glue, some with foam behind, um, just following those instructions. So there's really not a lot more I can say about this, except I absolutely adore these kits. They are a fantastic, fun way to create layouts. And I like to use these page kits before I use the main collection. And I kind of find when I get a new collection, it takes me a while to find my feet and get into my groove with it. And creating these layouts, because they've already been designed for me, they almost, it's a great way to dip your toe into a collection and get a feel for it before you then start cutting into the papers in the 
the main collection. So they're a great starting point. So I love using them. Um, but I'm going to leave you with the rest of the video. I'll pop some music on for you so you're not sat in silence. Um, and you can just watch me step by step stick everything in and then you'll see the completed layout at the end. But thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.